Good morning, everyone. Welcome to some more No Man's Sky. My name is Green Get Keith. And this is Bryce. I, you, you threw me a loop there. That, I was, did. that was a curveball. I'm sorry. I don't. My, my was, intros are always different. <laughs> my intros are always different. Bryce, in our videos now, based on some editing changes I did, the Bearded Brothers logo starts like full screen and then it slowly moves to the side so people can really see it like really slowly over the entire course of the video yeah like the first 15 minutes it's it's <laughs> it's like almost halfway gone and then like in the last five it kind of speeds over there <laughs> so people are really hopefully they're enjoying that Okay, folks, I've been notified by Bryce. The space looks beautiful in this system, though. Like, Ooh, it's so one dark. Planet I really wish we could have built the base on. Oh, God, it's so cool. It's like a primary color planet. Nice. And that's it. <laughs> it's like all the dirt is yellow, like bright yellow. All the grass on the dirt is bright red. Hmm. And all the water is like electric blue. That's really cool. But there's boiling rainstorms every five minutes. Ah, that is a bad place <laughs> to live. Okay, so Bryce, I think you have gone to a new star system, am I right? Uh, that is correct. I did not like the other star system. Okay. So, I've really not done much in this next star system. Folks, Bryce played this game a hours yesterday without me, so he may be a little bit farther ahead. I did indeed. Bryce, are you in the Ulino XV system? Yeah. Alright, you're certain of this? I am. Okay. Then I'm warping to you. I'm loading shaders. You'll probably be there before me. Nice. I'm third person warping. Kinda cool looking. Man, this game is fun. It is. We got a I haven't had a game like this since I was like 14 playing Minecraft. Yeah. Ooh, Starship Monitoring System reports hyperdrive error. Warp fuel depleted. Searching for fuel source. Searching. Searching. Obtained. Warp fuel source in 16, 16, 16. Accept guidance to fuel source? Sure, I accept. Guidance hey. accepted. Plotting route. That emergency signal happened to be 16, 16, 16, didn't it? Yeah, it did. There's a really cool look. This must be the planet you're talking about. This, like, blue yeah. and purple one? Mm hmm. Nice. I'm excited. Unless um, that's the ice planet that I actually built a base on. It might be. Um. What were we. Oh, we're talking about this game. Uh, we got a comment from. My, my boy hi Noah uh, he said it's finally got multiplayer it's uh, it's a bit too late now um, and so I responded and I said that it might be too late you might be right but I just do think it's cool that the that the company like they could have taken the money and run back whenever they sold it and everybody thought it was something else and they bought it but they spent two years providing like free updates and making sure it's turns out to be a good game and that yeah. very well could be just them covering their butts being like well we want people to buy our next game but at the end of the day no matter the reason I mean it's, it's a definitely a good game now <coughs> well hello games hello games is not a big company yep but uh Sony is a big company this is on the PlayStation so yeah I get the feeling Sony was like give me your lunch money and now Hello Games is trying to get some fresh lunch money that Sony can't steal. <laughs> Maybe so. I'm sure Sony's got a, a, a stake in a lot of it because it did come out on PlayStation at launch. So they, I'm sure they're, there's some sort of contract there. I doubt they I doubt they fulfill their obligation to Sony at launch and then they're free and clear now. Oh. Keith, you dense sinking doo-doo. 
Wow. I joined on your game, but you're in a different galaxy than I was. Uh, really? Yeah. I'm in the. Remember? I'm in the one you sent me to. I know, but you were in the other one when I joined. Oh my bad. It's all good. I'll just go in the space station. Man. And warp. This freaking game, dude. Like I landed my ship all graceful like in the sky I see a giant ringed planet, another planet above it. I'm next to this alien monolith. And I think yeah, all the grass is red, yeah, all the all the water is and I, it says there's boiling monsoons here. Yeah. So that's this. the cool planet. <laughs> it is a beautiful place. Got my I'm just gonna. One reason I'm gonna. We were talking about what we needed to do um, in the game. And one thing I need to do is get some money. Because I really need to fix my multi tool. Because it's got so many little broken pieces on it. And I also would love to get a new ship. Who wants to stick around with the startup ship? Not me, I'll tell you that. Not me. Uh, I'm on my third ship. Dang, Bryce. You're a um. real winner. They're, they were all pretty much the same price. Mm. All right. Except for this most recent one. The it's a... Mm. Go ahead. A-class fighter. Ooh, a fighter ship. Nice. I'm at the Boidosis, the Boidosis Fragment Gek Monolith. Reading anomaly detection protocols. The structure's unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words from themselves in my mind. A strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? Should I be traveler or friend, Bryce? I believe I was friend. I'm going to go with friend as well. That was what I was leaning to. I feel strange responding to questions I am unsure that I am being asked, but something is clearly taking notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that something, someone is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? I did, is it last? Yeah. I, would, it is last. I was about to say the same thing, because they keep talking about memory and stuff. I do not know how I am being spoken to. The monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling that it has asked questions, these questions many times over. Need a sip of water. It asks again. And then something about a crimson eye. Yeah, has, I said it is. We have seen the eye, or the eye has seen it. Yeah. But I, I've seen the eye. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert! Alert! The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. We did it. I got a warp cell. Just as Aunt Jemima enters the system. Aunt Jemima is here too. We Bring out the party wagon. <laughs> What's that? It's the party wagon. <laughs> Who's that driving? It's Aunt Jemima, it's Aunt baby. Jemima. It's Aunt Jemima, baby. Because I'm sweet and brown and thick. That's not necessarily untrue of you, Bryce. <laughs> Oh no. Fine. I'll just. I'll just go hide underground, you dumb sentinels. Have you ever done this, Bryce? Yeah. That is my favorite technique. <laughs> yeah. I really wish I could just sell a ship and or give you a ship. That'd be nice. Alright, the sentinels ought to be confused about where I am now. Man, I got so much stuff to fix on this multi tool. Yeah, mine's seriously destroyed. I have like no slots on it. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten usable slots. Hmm. I need some delicious chromatic metal to fix some of mine. And some technology modules. I need so many technology modules. <laughs> yeah, I need six currently. 
I need two, four, six, eight, ten. Four hundred chromatic metal. Alright, I'm going. I'm traveling underground back to my ship. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, the uh. No, dude, leave me alone. I'm gonna head to the base. Alright, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll join you whenever I can. Hey, knowledge stone. Actually, they don't ever start searching whenever I go underground, so I'm just going to try to outrun this guy. You gotta go really deep underground. Oh. Well, the storm is clearing, thank goodness. I'm running from the sentinels. Look for me. Dang it, they found me. Into the trees. Run into the forest. We ride. Just following me like a monster. <laughs> Is there any. Dang it, they found me again. Are there any good valuables on the uh, on the new planet, Bryce? Such as I don't know, something that'll make us lots of money. Um, I just scanned for distress signals on the uh, signal booster, and I found an abandoned building. Nice. You should wait for me to get there for that. Oh, I'm gonna lead you to it, and I'm gonna leave you there. <laughs> what the heck just happened there? I just glitched out real bad. That ain't too good. That ain't too heckin' good at all, my friend. I'm going real deep. How deep do you have to go oh. for it to not find you? I, uh, oh, it's searching now. Nice. You ain't coming down here, I bet, you dumb sentinel. What were you about to say, Bryce? Telling you that I don't know how deep you have to go. Oh, I thought you were saying something else. I think I was saying something else. Maybe I was. Maybe. Alright, got a few more seconds on this puppy. Then we're going. We're out. I you uh, um I didn't even know that the terrain manipulator could put stuff back. You didn't? Nope. When did you find that out? Yesterday, ah. whenever I was running from <laughs> the, uh, things. Let me in my ship, please. So the thing said switch, and I use it. it. It's it lights up the scroll wheel. So I was like scrolling like nobody's. Hmm. It, this doesn't do anything. You lying piece of crap. And then I clicked the scroll wheel in, just out of whimsy. Yeah. And it changed it over to create mode. Whimsy. <laughs> My scroll wheel whimsy. Alright, there are strange powers at work. I've been left messages crumbs to leave me along a trail. Should I seek answers? Should I investigate these anomalies? Did you click free explore? Uh, no, I clicked the other one. Okay. Or should I enjoy the galaxy on my own terms and avoid whatever trouble this is surely leading towards? I think if we don't search for answers, we don't get to do the atlas, the atlas stuff. And if we don't get the atlas stuff, we they're like chests and stuff we can't open. I think eventually. So. Yeah. I think that was a good choice. Uh, oh, did you do the anomaly, the space anomaly? I did one quest in there. Okay, I'm gonna go in the space anomaly. I had no idea what it was. I thought it was going to be something really cool. No. It was just some random... Weirdos in the thing. It was 
like a Jehovah's Witness yeah. in a ball. Alright, I'm making my way around. The third person spaceships thing is pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to these folks. I think we get like an Atlas Pass or something from these people. Oh, is that how you get it? I think so. I could be wrong. That's never happened before. <laughs> let me in. Let this short little fella in. Hey, it's a guy. Specialist Polo. Friends everywhere, if only you knew where to look. Friends in all shapes, in all sides, in all places. The guy wipes their grease splattered hands on their suit as they address me. They introduce themselves as Specialist Polo, fugitive of the Gek. They tell me they gave up trade units and all material possessions to flee into an anomaly outside of time and space with a robotic priest. They have a jocular air about them, all things considered. They are curious about my travels, about what sentient species I have seen. They do not get out much these days. Oh, I'm supposed to collect alien encounter data, I guess. Mm, why is there a sentinel buzzing around my base? 16. The panels in the system's idle. Nava stares at them, their mask waning, the single word issuing from their mask, their refrain. Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. Nava will help and exchange progress for progress. Transmit milestone data. You have seen much, but do you understand? Not for Nada to know. Please take this. Thanks for 600 nanonite, nanite clusters. Uh, that actually is a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Reach milestone recognized for alien encounters. Track your progress and your journey milestones. Alright, cool. So I think we have made it to like the explore, exploration portion. Mm. Let's get... I now wish to see Aunt Jemima space. I now wish this sentinel to leave. This is a sentinel on I'll, the base. I'll come kill him if you want. Then more sentinels will come. That's true. I one time watched a guy kill a bunch of sentinels to try to get to it. There's a giant walker sentinel that comes. It was wild, man. I uh, went into this story thinking more would occur. Yeah, not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot in the story. Did he get to the giant walker? Oh yeah, he did. Sorry, he did. He killed it. <laughs> Alright, Bryce, I made it. Hey. This does not have to be our home. I just thought it was a cool location. Is it, it always is so foggy? Flat. Um, I think. Are you in the middle of a storm or something? It is not super fo foggy for me. Oh, maybe I am. Yeah. Sometimes the weather is to synchronize. What temperature is it outside for you? Uh, negative 95 degrees Celsius. Yeah, you're in the middle of a storm. Nice. Darn it, our weather's not synchronized. Yeah, That's weird. Completely flat. Nice. Very cool. I like it. This can be our new home. I assume you can put more than one base down? Uh, probably build on each other's bases. If you would like me to take this up, area sure. since it is your channel that would probably be for the better no it's fine I think no I'm saying I, th I think um I'm wondering if you can uh, like did you have to destroy your other base computer to build this one um not in the other system but I no I did not gotcha that yeah that's what I was asking hey you have a thing a plant. Oh yeah. In your house. <laughs> Wonder what happens when I scan you. 
nothing. You are nothing. Is this no truer words have ever been spoken? <laughs> um Hey, some buried some buried technology. Yeah. <laughs> My friend that. Conrad came in here and he dug it up and then tried to fill the hole back in and it looked like doo doo. Do what now? The uh, right here. Oh, you're. Oh, it's you, not there. Anymore. You actually had a real friend named Conrad who came and do that. Yeah. Okay, sorry. It, it sounded almost like a bit you were doing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think I'm gonna run over here to this technology module, Bryce. Okay. Be Did sure you... to save some jetpack fuel. Good lord, man. How am I going to get back up here? Uh, does your ship have, um, yeah. launch fuel? Okay. Yeah. Then it you should. should be good. If not, I'll just have to climb up with my mining thing. Oh, yeah, I made a staircase somewhere over there. Okay. See it? Uh. Good lord, the fall. Oh, so yeah, cool, oh, though. Uh, yeah, I almost died. I don't see the staircase currently. This way. Uh, which way? The opposite way that I went, I guess. Do you see the laser? Ah, okay. I still don't think I see it, but I'll go that way and find it. All right. And it, it's a big rocky stairway. Gotcha. You've already. Do you see these? Wait. Uh, no, you already used this technology thing, so only, I only got nanite clusters. I didn't get blueprints. Is that what happens? Maybe. Dang. No salvage pretty sure I for me. Pretty sure I only got nanite clusters from it anyway. Oh. I believe Conrad was the one that got it. Also. Uh, and the only thing that gets you is base building stuff. Yeah. That's true. Getting some high dye hydrogen here. We're going to have to end this case now. I haven't made it that far yet. Keith, I'm looking at you. I'm standing on the staircase. Oh, yeah, I see it. I, def <laughs> I definitely see the staircase. <laughs> yep, that's my fault. <laughs> yes, I do. That's a good looking scare. How'd you make square blocks, Bryce? Uh, there's a shape change thing. Hmm. Oh, it is now storming for me. Yeah, it's storming for me as well. We must build a great base to keep us from the wind. What are you talking about my love shack over there is perfect. <laughs> it certainly is a love shack as well. It was perfect until there was a sentinel buzzing around. Bryce, how do you change shape? I can only do circles right now. Well, see, if you press Z, and mm. then... I don't know, what does what Z do otherwise? Uh... Just lets you put down equipment. Or... Build things. Hmm. Okay, then... Something maybe maybe that's not a controller option, I don't know. Dang, I'm about to die. Had to charge up my stuff. But folks, thank you so much for watching this video. We're gonna have to shut it down here at twenty five minutes. Um we hope you enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed me finding my way to Bryce's new base. In the next video hopefully we'll do some building, some construction and other general explanation exploration. But in the meantime we will see you later. We love you very much. Bye, kids.